Right, so so for this American presidential election, the, the original proper constitution, how it's meant to be, the, the actual, the constitution is the federal law. The constitution is the federal law and the federal rules for the election of the president of the United States. But what the federal law is saying is that it's creating different state laws because the rules are different in each state. Right, because one of the um, one of you know p people have got to be from certain states. Senators represent to which the state may be entitled in the Congress. So, but no senator or representative or person holding an office of trust under the United States shall be appointed. Right, so they're only entitled to have persons who are from the state and they're only entitled to have a certain number of votes per state and so forth. Not, it, it, it's going to be different rules for each state, not because the state have, are allowed to make up their own rules, but because... It, 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 it's a requirement because all states are different by design of the Constitution, right? Each state shall appoint in such a manner as legislature a number of electors equal to the number of senators and representatives to which the state may be entitled in the Congress. But no senate representative or person in an office of trust or profit under the United States shall be appointed an elector. So, government staff aren't meant to vote. Government staff are not... I'm, this is what it means. Government staff don't vote. Like sheriffs or a, a, a judge or judges don't vote in America. They're not supposed to. Or sheriff or the mayor of Atlanta. Not supposed to vote. So you deduct the, the number of people who are appointed in those offices from the, the, the population, from the public, right? And then, then there are rules from what state, that the, the, the nominee from each state, right? The electors shall meet in their respective states and vote by ballot for two persons. That's because there's a president and a right that that you can vote for two people, but so every citizen can can write down two names. Every citizen can write two names down, right? So you can put Alex and John, okay? Every, every citizen can can has got to, can every citizen votes for two two people. They can write two names down. And then when the votes get counted, Whoever's got the most is going to be the president, presidential nominee, and whoever's got the second, that whoever comes second, will be the vice president. This is out of everyone's votes in the whole state, right? That's how it's going to be. But but government officials, people under the government paycheck and in office and so forth, don't vote. That's why you've got a different number of people in each state who are going to be appointed to elect, and one's not to, right? That's to make it fair. And, and that's actually why political parties aren't supposed to... People in the government power, like all these biased persons, also for counting the votes and even for investigating it, you know, and so forth. Um, because they're the ones employed by the government to serve so they don't vote, right? That's why you can't have um, these independent persons bringing suits and cases because it's not their job. They're there to vote and elect. And, and the, the people working in the government, uh, staff, are meant to do the investigating work and so forth and counting the ballots and, and, and whatever and, and whatnot. But it tells you here, 
The electors shall meet in the respective states and vote by, by ballot for two persons, of whom at least um, one shall not be an inhabitant of the same state themselves. So, like I said, one of them is you, you write down any two people you want, and one person that you write down isn't from your state, and the other person is. This is why there's different rules in each state, because... It, 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 the state for California is one person's got to be from California. That's not going to be the law in Arizona, is it? That one person's got to be from California and one not in Arizona, right? President of the Senate, right, um, shall sign and certify it. And it gets sent in and counted to, to the. And then if there's a sort of tie. You gotta count all the names separately and individually. It's a bit of a nightmare mammoth job because everyone might not vote for the same people because they're not uniformity. As you get more uniformity, it gets easier to count them, but it, it, you're not held by it because it's, you know, it's done under the right to petition. It's a petition. It's done under a free petition. Now, what happened is certain groups started forming parties and they started ticket touting. They started forecasting. They started doing like when you go to the bookies favourites. They started printing tickets out for the favourites or on the joint parties. Then the party said, right, you know, we want all our followers to vote for our people. And this, this, um, um, the, the Democrats, the National Democratic Convention, is nothing to do with. It's a, it's an independent political movement. And if anyone ever legislated any law around that, they've done it in grave error and mistake, and they they made up law about a figment, something that's not true, because they're a political party, and 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 met some of those people in there might even be working for a government. Met many people working in government might 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 be members of the Democratic Party. They can't vote anyway. So. The party is nothing in this. The, the, the political party actually means nothing. It, it's merely a um, favourite. It's favourites. And their own election process and their own th these um, primaries or whatever they call them, what Marianne Williams is in, it's, it's a members club. It's not federal government running the president election. It's a members club and then they're putting their person forward and saying this is our nominee. And they're saying that, you know, all of their fans or the public, they're, they're selling tickets for it and trying to get them to vote for them. You know, like on 007 when he goes, you know, anyone would have thought someone was selling tickets, you know. So whatever's happened since then, now there might be amendments and so forth, but what Larry, this Larry guy, not Larry Fink, this, this, this Larry guy, this sports guy who's been on loads of channels talking about it, I don't think that he, he, the original. I don't think that he's got this original one right. And then what? What this? They they took over the process. They basically have um, misled or um, deceived the public into doing what they say and not what the public think. And then they've invented a whole. They've invented an entire convention around doing it. Um, a spectacle out of it, and then they even started getting um, th their own people involved. But that's not actually the presidential election. That's just some sideshow. It's like sideshow Bob. Now, I don't know what happened to the amendments in the Constitution after this, but what's happened is that people have got a memory loss um, and any, any other process that's been put in. States can't make up different laws. It means that each state needs to be different because it can't be the same. You can't and require one person to be from California and one person not if you live in fucking Texas because it's a different law. It's a different requirement, right? That's a different requirement. You can't be the same. It, but the, pro, the, the, the general process, these are the rules in federal law. It's only making allowance for different state law because, like, when they elect senators and so forth, 
You write down two people and they're going to fight it out, actually, for who's president and vice president. You're not nominated for vice president. You're not nominated for president. You nominate two people. Or you're going to try and get both of them to, to, to be... You've got two chances at president. Now, if, if people start getting favourites and everyone's talking in pubs and in clubs and on radio and TV and they start getting favourites and everyone confers in private and then they all start saying, yeah, you know, we like the show about Kennedy Jr. guy, let's all vote for him. That's up to them. But if a, if, a, if, 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 if a party, if a political party starts uh, saying, you know, join our party and do what we say and then we'll issue tickets, this is going to be our nomination for this or that, and, you know, they give you the ticket and then when you, you know, go and vote, you hand it in and it's all written down for you. That's not the election. That's not the... Federal government, that isn't the, the ballot place or whatever. That, that this is an independent party that's taking control of your votes. That's how I read this. And whatever's happened in the amendments since then, um, this is what we're on with now in England with Tony Blair. He, he's been making grave errors. Like he's made loads of legislation put through for um, giving people reduced sentences if they confess or if they give evidence or, or whatever, which you can't do. It's favour in respect to person's conscience. Uh, you can't do that. So Tony, Bl Tony Blair has literally made all the judges set up to break the law, just like they set all the legal road signage up that people are going to break the speed limit. These people are anarchists. Uh, also, the Liberty of London, that they've put a double jeopardy road tax in London when you've already paid for the right to use the road um, through road tax and you can't have any additional tolls or charges. The mayor of London has put a toll on when you already pay the government for a road tax and the right to use the road. So it's a second tax from a different authority, just like someone setting a toll booth up. The mayor of London has set his own toll booth up when you pay the British government and the Department of Transport for use of the roads in England. So the, the Transport for London have set up their own little um, toll network, which is a second tax, which is illegal in London. There were many um, big mis Queen Elizabeth II repealed all these Criminal Law Act uh, 1967, repealed some of Magna Carta privileges when they're still opening Parliament with them and still using them into effect so when Parliament opens and the Speaker's petition. So it, 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 it's, it's not compatible. It's broken. They've made mistakes, errors, uh, not possible in law, even even for the government to put through. Um, and this is, this is a problem. So I think that we'll, it, it's likely that in America that they've likely done the same string of errors uh, in their presidential voting. It's a petition, and you choose two people, and the the the, 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 the state law is nothing to do with... Um, you can have different rules for... Um, valid, you know, for... You know, every state is meant to check that all the details are right and so forth, but all these different um, petition requirements, all these different... Tosh laws, then this is the law, federal law. Um, all states should have a high standard of counting and checking. And if there's any fraud or errors, then the public report it. And those officials who aren't participating in the election, that, that's their job. That's why they don't vote. They, they are for, for function. Um, if you want to work for government in, in a high office, you, you don't vote for president. You're counting ballots and, and you're investigating fraud. But this DNC party and these members of the public who are prosecuting Robert F. Kennedy Jr., they're voting in the election. And they're also affiliated with an independent political party. So they can't bring a private suit because the government are responsible for checking petitions and ballots. That's why they don't freaking vote. This, You know... It, it, that's why you've got 5013C, illegal campaign intervention by all these independent organisations, parties and businesses.